With the current wave of Thai anti-government protests in a third day, Prime Minister Ying Lak Chinawat remains unmoved by calls to postpone next month's general election. Protesters on the so-called shutdown Bangkok campaign are occupying seven key intersections in the busy business district in the heart of Bangkok. They are demanding that Ying Lak leave office immediately. The Prime Minister offered to meet with the opposition on Wednesday to discuss an election commission proposal to delay the general election. However, opposition leaders are boycotting the poll entirely and decline to join the discussion. Ying Lak said the election will be held on February 2nd as scheduled. <laughs> It is our job to hold the election in accordance with the law and the constitution. The leader of the anti-government demonstrators, Uthep Tuxuban, expressed his opposition. I don't know who was at the meeting today, but the people don't agree with holding an election under the same rules and the same laws. Such an election would allow vote buying and vote rigging, and it would be impure and unfair. The protesters surrounded several government offices in a bid to prevent civil servants getting to work. The anti-government side, which draws largely on the country's urban middle class for its support, is insisting that the general election be postponed until political reforms are made. But Ying Lak's Thai party is reportedly ahead in the race to polling day, with especially strong support in rural areas. The shutdown campaign had been relatively peaceful since beginning on Monday. However, police say at least three people were injured in a shooting near the rally site early on Wednesday morning. Elsewhere, no one was hurt in an explosion at the house of former Prime Minister Apisit Weshashiwa, now leader of the largest opposition party. No suspects have been identified.